Well, it is pouring rain. Sort of. It's raining at least. I wonder how the rain gauge is going. Let's see. Yep. Yep. It's got to be a few inches in there. <laughs> oh God, I wish I had a few inches somewhere else. Oh! But it's a pretty crappy looking day. I know, you got to get those sometimes, right? It's Friday and I still haven't even made today's Fast Food Friday video. <laughs> Not that anyone even watches that anymore. Yeah, my Greg's Kitchen channel will be getting under the 4,000 hours any minute now. What will I do then? Probably find me stealing heroin off junkies. Sleeping under government buildings. That'll be me very shortly. Right, time for my coffee. Let's make one. So, first of all, we get our coffee. Here, come down and have a look. I'm sure you all have made a coffee before. So, right, one spoon's worth. Make sure it's a steep spoon's worth. And the other sugar, because I'm not sweet enough. That's what they say. Just a spoonful of sugar and maybe two makes the medicine go down. The medicine, of course, being caffeine. The thing I like about this coffee is that when you put your hot water in here, come in and have a look. And then, when, oh gee, that stinks. And then when you do this, it gets a nice head on it. Oh, God, wouldn't we all love a nice head? Tell you what, I'll be getting some in Singapore. Hopefully. And when I say head, I mean the head of a of a, uh, a capsicum, or is that uh, what is that other thing? That white thing? Cucumber? No, no. What is it? There's broccoli, and there's that one that looks like broccoli that's white. Hmm. Can't even remember what it's called. What's it called? Cauliflower. That's the head I was talking about. I don't know what head you were thinking of. God, I tell you, you people are so like dirty minded and when I say you people I'm not being like one of those R words that people just throw around blatantly nowadays no I'm not talking that I'm talking something I don't even know what I'm talking about because I've forgotten hey this is the shirt I was wearing in yesterday's video because it's my pyjamas it's Jag see I only wear the best brands to bed but it was five dollars and I tell you what this material is just gorgeous and it feels so nice against your skin god I know something else that feels nice against my skin too <laughs> it's about this big <laughs> oh dear cheers everyone oh that's too sweet to add some more water and some more coffee and put it in a bigger cup. Oh well. So what am I doing today? Well I've got to uh, make a video, hopefully, at some stage. If it stops raining. I can do it in the rain. I still gotta decide what to do. I do have one voucher for Oportos I think. I might go there. And I tried the thing I was gonna have when I went last time and it was crap. It was like the worst thing I've ever had. Almost. Could be really close to the worst so the negative videos don't really do that well people are like upbeat and positive for some reason they don't want to know the truth they don't want to hear the truth they just want someone to lie to them and tell them everything's fantastic and great when we all know life sucks and then you die i was just reading some of the comments and um somebody said that their friend died at 45 never traveled just worked and I mean that's one of the reasons why I'm sort of like doing what I'm doing like just getting out and traveling and 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 trying to enjoy life while I still can because then you hear stories of these guys that are you know dying so young I remember was some guy um, had a heart attack and drove through a fence up up the road here a few months ago 
He died. He had a heart attack. He was triathlete. And he was like in his mid-40s as well. So you just don't know, mate. And then you see these big round people walking around with their really pushers who are, you know, 75. who can hardly even walk. And they're still alive. They should have been dead 10 years, 20 years ago. Ah, well, you know, that's life, mate. You just don't know. That's why you just got to get up and live it every day. Not that I do. I'm pretty bad at that. I just lie on the couch most of the time. But, ah, well, you know, talk it up and live it up while you can. And Yeah, sleep when you're dead, they reckon. Yeah, I wish I could sleep while I was alive. Make life a whole lot easier, wouldn't it? If you get a good night's sleep. Then he woke up at like five this morning for some reason. Oh, because I was in pain. I'm just in so much pain, like back pain. And oh, that's right. I woke up because I was like, <laughs> I nearly vomited in my sleep. It must have been that yogurt I had before I went to bed. So I had to sleep, you know, sitting up then, which wasn't fun. Oh, yeah, I'm just drooling on there. How about we go and do something? Let's go. Well, got the video up for the Fast Food Friday. It's been raining most of the day. Let's check this rain gauge because it has seriously been raining a lot. Let's see. Wow, that says, that's like at 85 mils. That's, that's like four inches sort of, I think. I'm not too sure. Let me know down below. Wow, it's a lot of rain. And I think there's another big storm coming. So I can't go down the jetty or unless I've got an umbrella, which I'm not going to, so I won't bother. Which means I won't even get to really go for a walk today. It's too late anyway. Might as well just start, uh, you know, wadding. Ah. Now, you know what I really don't like about this time of the year? That's because there's no sports on. Rugby league hasn't started. Cricket's just finished. AFL hasn't started. I think the only thing that's on is like soccer. Well, I don't have the soccer on the normal soccer, like EPL, which is what I'd love to watch. It's only like Australian soccer. And the two what our teams are very good. They're all sort of retired European players who are like, oh yeah, might as well go and earn a couple of hundred grand just for, you know, they don't even bother training. They just show up. God, I hate this time of the year. Thank God for YouTube. And thank God that I'm making vlogs or else there'd be nothing to watch. Just me and PewDiePie. I saw a PewDiePie's video today. Had that Casey Nice, that guy. He looks like a bus ran into his head, didn't it? He is one ugly mofo. Now, I shouldn't be so shallow, but he is. Like, he makes really ugly guys look handsome. Um, okay, so, what do I do now? Ooh, six, I should be reheating dinner. But it's... Why would I? It's Friday. I've got Saturday. Tomorrow, I'll be working. I'll make a video or something. For next Friday's food reviews. Because I want to do a few things during the week. I'll... Hopefully get up and see mum before I go. She just bought a new house, my mum. She sold the old place. She sent me some photos today of the new place and it looks really nice at Chermside. Oh, if you know Chermside, it's like retirement village. And I used to actually live there at one stage of my old life. But, you know, it's a bit like really, it's very like city-like. But it's not a city, it's a suburb, but it's like, it's a place where I don't even want to visit because it's just crowded and traffic's bad. And so as long as she's happy, then I'm happy. I was trying to get her to move down here into one of these places. So much cheaper down here. But no, she wanted to live somewhere else. Women, mate, you can't change their minds, can you? Even with facts. The facts don't even register with women. It's just feelings. It's all about feelings. And facts. I don't care about facts because feelings. I don't even feel like this. It's just, you know, it's raining. It's not exactly cold, but it's not like hot. The way you like to drink beer when it's piping hot outside. 
just smash them back. But yeah, it's a little bit too cold to, to even like drink this, but hey, I will because uh, I'm a male. And uh, I can. Two of the best reasons. Cheers. Ah, right. What's next? Time to start getting some dinner ready. So, mashed potatoes I made yesterday. Boof. The chicken I cooked yesterday. Badinga! And the veggies frozen because it's more cost effective and <laughs> who knows else and you get a whole bunch of vegetables that's four dollars for nearly a kilo's worth and you get a whole mixture of all the veggies you want and need I don't know what this nutritional value is and quite frankly I don't care I'm just like this yeah, yeah, that'll do. Mmm, that looks really nice. <laughs> oh, bullshit. <laughs> I'll still get another meal out of this for sure. Dig that out. Ah. Now you want to chop it up a little bit so the heat goes all the way through because usually it doesn't. Now grab your cock. <laughs> no! Not your penis. I'm talking about this chicken. Ooh, have a look at that. All the fat solidified. That's all right. It's all right, it's turned to jelly. Put that there. And you get all this bits of jelly stuff. That's all right. That's all right, have a look at that. Mmm, mmm. That'll melt. So I'll put some of that on. The potatoes. That'll melt all the way through. Oh, I love jelly potatoes. And these veggies take... Oh, hang on, they take four to five minutes. Or is it five to six minutes? Maybe I should do these separately. <sighs> hang on, here it is. Four to five minutes. Well, this should only take about three minutes. You see, these are the stresses that us men have to live with. How long to microwave your veggies? Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, I might do them in a separate bottle. I'll do them first. I hate using another bowl because that's just one more thing I have to wash. Yeah, well, life sucks, then you die. So let's, how about we just put some veggies in there. Look at that. That's all the nutrition you'll ever need. Why wouldn't you buy these bags of veggies? Seriously. That's all I'm buying from now on. Whenever I buy like some broccoli, I throw half of it away because I'm cutting the stems off. Here, I don't have to. I've got capsicums here. The, what's that stuff called I was trying to remember? Cauliflower. That's it. Carrots, beans. What more do you want? There you go, that's dinner. That's today. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you. Are you sure? I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, catch ya.